hey guys welcome to the third video of this series where we'll be looking into the Linux interview questions and answers and uh, this is the third video so yeah, I'll be trying to keep the video short and informative and without wasting any time let's get started uh, b before uh, starting uh, if you appreciate the video please uh, click the thumbs up button and uh, subscribe the channel to get more such videos and also don't forget to hit the bell icon to get the notification okay so uh, the first question is where and how to check logs this is a sh sure shot question that you will be asked during an interview so the answer is Linux logs can be viewed with the command that is cd where log all the logs are stored into this directory where log and then type the command ls to see the log stores under the directory there are different types of logs we will see in the next slide the most important log to view is the syslog which logs everything but authentication related messages linux logs provide a timeline of events for the linux operating system application and systems logs are valuable troubleshooting tool when you encounter issues essentially uh, analyzing log files is the first thing an administrator needs to do when whenever there is an issue you have to analyze the logs that is the most important thing and the most important linux logs are application logs event logs service logs system logs you can be asked randomly in the interview what are the important logs that you view on a daily basis so that time you can be explaining these four logs coming to the next slide that is common log files and their usages var log messages the general messages and system related logs var log kernel whatever related to your kernel those logs will be found in this directory kernel dot logs kernel logs cron log cron is nothing but a scheduling task all task scheduling uh, logs will be found in this cron dot log directory mail related logs will be found in mail logs similarly httpd light httpd httpd as i have explained earlier is nothing but the apache server logs error logs boot dot log the, uh, the system boot log if you want to check you can check into boot dot log mysqld dot log mysql is the database server log file anything related any issue related to uh, this file you can go into mysql dot mysql d dot log file then authentication related issue if uh, you are not able to take session of your uh, server or anything related to SSH or authentication you can go into where log secure or where log authentic auth dot log where log UTMP where log uh, WTMP uh, this is nothing but a file uh, where these file keep a track of login and logout of the users then rum yum dot log yum related logs can be found into yum dot log yum is nothing but a tool for installing the packages okay coming to the next question that is what kind of query dns understand first of all a dns query is also known as dns request is a demand for information sent from a user that is from by us from a DNS client from, from our system to a DNS server a DNS request is sent only to ask for the IP address because we as a human don't understand the IP address for example we sent the domain name google.com to the DNS server and what it does is the IP address associated with that domain name will it will give you the information present in that domain name an attempt to reach a domain is actually a DNS 
what what it means actually is a DNS client querying the DNS server to get the IP address related to that domain. There are two ways of resolving a host or a domain name to an IP address that is using the domain name system. The first one is a recursive query and a non-recursive query. Now how the recursive works that is the recursive query is when a DNS client that is uh, when from we send the request from our system directly gets the IP address of a domain for example as I uh, told you earlier for google.com when we get the IP address directly by the name server it is called as recursive but when we don't get the IP that is the non recursive query when a DNS client contact the name server one by one one until it find the server containing the information uh, then we come to the next question that is uh, as I've told you earlier I am trying to keep this as bullet points short and informative so that whenever you are asked such type of question you can un explain them uh, within five minutes or ten minutes it is up to your understanding the next question is uh, what we will use to view a specific user activity so uh, th this monitoring activity is also one of the most critical task a system administrator uh, has to do every day or maybe uh, every week to monitor your system for any suspicious activity an activity that might indicate a security compromise you should evaluate login activity signs of a security breach security breach uh, for example if uh, there are multiple failed logins then uh, there could be a security breach so there is a command uh, called as who command to monitor user login activities it shows who is currently logged into the system and informations such as the time of last login for more details you can use the options or flags that is hyphen H for displaying the column headings hyphen R for knowing the current run level A to display information provided by the most options there is also a command called as last with the help of this command we can fetch the details from the where log WTMP file as I've said earlier WTMP file is nothing but it tracks the users login and logout, logout activities it displays the list of all users previous logged in and logged out from system you can also install this tool that is PSACCT or ACCT using yum command PSACCT is nothing but process accounting package contains following useful utilities to monitor the users and process activities when PSACCT package is installed on your system with the help of uh, these below commands you can find more information of the user activities that is AC it will display the statistics how long users have been logged on for example 1 hour 2 hour 3 hour or maybe for, for 8 or 9 hours the users are logged on into a system last command last com will display the information about previously executed commands act on turns process accounting on or off dumb act transforms the output file from the act on format to a human readable format dumb utmp prints utmp file in re human readable utmp file again stores the users activities that is login and logout activities SA will summarize the information about previously executed commands okay coming uh, directly to the next question this is also a very important question which can be asked and uh, this is I am telling you from my personal experience that this question was asked to me when I was giving interviews in the earlier days the question is if uh, you have 8 core of CPU out of which 4 CPUs are in use what will be the load average so first we will understand what is a load average system load or CPU load is nothing but measurement of CPU 
over or under utilization in linux system so the number of processes which are being executed by the cpu or in waiting state load average is nothing but load calculated over a given period of time that is 1 5 and 15 as you can see in this screenshot when you type top command there will be two there will be three fields numerical fields in the top right corner which will sh uh, show the details uh, the last 15 minutes last 5 minutes and last 1 minutes load average on your CPU so uh, let's first understand if you have one single core system and this is the load average on your system what will be the answer for that the CPU for if you see when you see for one minute the CPU was fully utilized because we have only one core CPU one single core CPU and it is showing as one that is it is hundred percent utilized and one process was running on the CPU over the last one minute okay and when we come to the five minutes the CPU was idle for 60 percent that is you can see 40 percent is from 140 0.40 40 percent is used and 60 percent of the CPU is idle no processes were waiting for CPU time over the last five minutes and when we come to the last field that is the third field uh, since 15 minutes what has happened to the CPU the CPU was overloaded by 235 percent because as you know that we have only a single core processor and uh, it is single core processor we have over here and uh, the the value that is shown that is 3.35 that is 2.35 were waiting for CPU time that is 235 percent on average over the last 15 minutes and the question in our scenario was where four CPUs are in use the answer for that is the average is 50 percent our, our, our system is 50 percent use and 50 percent of the CPU is idle coming to the uh, third last question of this video that is in top command what does three numerical field indicates actually this question is already answered in the last question but again uh, we have some more details about it that is the numerical fields indicates nothing but load average of the CPU Linux load average track not just runnable task task but also task in the uninterruptible sleep state Linux load average are system load average that show the running thread demand on the system as an average number of running plus waiting threads this measures demands which can be greater than what the system is currently processing there are some interpretations I mentioned if the average is 0, 0.0 that means and if uh, we have single core processor dual core quad core octa core whatever the processor if, if the average is zero for since one minute for five minutes or 15 minutes then your system is completely idle and if uh, the one minute average is higher than the five or 15 minutes average then the load in this case is increasing because in uh, because in previous five or 15 minutes the load was less as compared to now if one minute average is lower than the last five or fifteen minutes average then it means that the load is decreasing if they are higher than your CPU count then you might have a performance problem if we have CPU a dual core or a quad core CPU and since 15 5 or 1 minute it is more using your system then it means we will surely be having performance problems 